<clears throat> Hiya, and thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that my channel is aimed at helping people. Um, at, um, basically anyone that might be self-employed, and they're looking, if you like, to um, actually improve their lifestyle. Um, obviously their finances, um, you know, this all my channel really is aimed at trying to help people and promote, um, if you like, self-development. Now, this video is going to be about a subject which really has affected me um, throughout all my life. Um, and that is having people around you that are, that are perhaps uh, voicing their opinion about your next um, idea. Um, and it's something that really can hold people back. Um, you know, you might have an idea and it could be something that you've put a lot of thought into. You know, you might have sat there you know, with your pen and your calculator and sat and really worked out, um, you know, what, what could happen and how you could actually develop your business. And you happen to mention it to someone and they totally tell you that you're wasting your time. And it's, it's really how you need to react to it, uh, react to that. Now, it's very simple for someone to say, you know, to say to you, well, well I think that's a load of crap and I don't think that's going to work and I think that's been done before and you're wasting your time. And you need to remember that these people that are telling you telling you all this they've they've made a um they've made an opinion of your idea over the space of a minute you know you've happened to mention what you're thinking about and they've just if you like ripped it apart and what this video is really um trying to warn you against is to warn you against these people don't let anybody anybody tell you that your idea is no good you know i'm assuming that the idea you've got you've you know you've really given it some thought as to how much it's going to cost for you to set up you know how you're going to imp uh, uh, implement it you know what it's going to cost you to get going and obviously what you know what financial reward you hope to get from this business and, uh, and over what period but assuming that all those boxes have been ticked and you are going to, um, you know, what you're expecting to achieve is, is if you like, quite achievable. And, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously in your mind highly likely. Then if these people come up to you and tell you that you're, you're wasting your time, you need to ignore them. Because, like I say, they've based, they've based their opinion on something that you might have been sitting sitting thinking about for the last two months last two years they really they really haven't got um they really shouldn't really be you know um, placing a, an, an opinion on it not without all the statistics and the um projections of you know obviously what you're thinking and how you're thinking of doing it it's very easy for someone to say oh you're wasting your time and yeah, this video really is about making you think, yes, you need to think long and hard about what you're doing, you know, what money you're going to be putting into it, you know, like I say, how long it's going to take you to uh, develop it, and obviously your, um, your expected uh, projected returns, yeah, but... You know, you yeah, you know, obviously, if you're an adult, you, you know, you're not, you can obviously make these um you know sit and do the maths and work out whether or not you think it's a viable plan or not you know if if, if you go asking people around you then you're always going to get people that tell you it ain't going to work yeah and uh, um, i think you need to not do this you know the only person that i think you should perhaps be talking to with regards to starting a new business would be a person that knows about business. Would be perhaps, uh, perhaps a um, if you need a loan to obviously look at where your business might, if it did start happening, where it could be held back. You know, would you reach a stage in your business where you'd need a cash injection 
and would that hold your business back and, and would you have to plan for that four or five six months down the line and would you not get in that loan if you needed a loan would that hold you back see these people are worth speaking to these these people who are educated if you like on uh, developing business plans you know somebody who is perhaps got a similar business you know you might be looking to base uh, generate your or create your business online perhaps talking to somebody that's already done this as as created a business online that person could be worth speaking to but just asking your mate down the pub what he thinks you know you cannot you cannot listen to what he tells you you know no disrespect to him but he could be working in a dead end job um, you know where 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 he's getting paid for unskilled labor because he is unskilled and he's not educated enough to um to basically voice an opinion and really you were wrong to ask him you know if you're going to ask people about what you what you think uh, you know what they think about your uh next possible biz business venture make sure you, if you're going to ask people you're asking the right people don't go and ask some you know somebody who ain't got a clue do you know what i mean because they just because they just because a lot of people who are, who are, if you like, um, and I don't mean this nasty, but a lot of people who are perhaps in these jobs, low paid jobs, they've just accepted, they've just been brainwashed and they've just accepted that that is what is, that is what is expected of them and that's all they're ever going to do and that's their mindset. You need to you need to find people who have got a mindset greater than yours and talk to these people because if you talk to these people you know people with a greater knowledge of business people with a greater level of motivation people with a greater level of belief if you talk to these people they will pull you up yeah but if you talk to somebody who, who's working in a perhaps an unskilled job, you know, they're earning a thousand pound a month and they're getting top up off the social because they can't pay all their bills. What are you doing asking that person? That person is not qualified. He's not qualified to comment on your business. So don't ask them. Yeah. I hope this has been of help and I hope this encouraged you to, um, if you like change your mindset because so many people unfortunately there's so many people in this country who are on low incomes and they are they're working in low income jobs and they don't believe that there's anything out there because they've been brainwashed into thinking that way yeah and um, you yeah, know the benefit system the fact that all these people are being given money it's making them their mind um it's making them basically into vegetables because they've not got to um strive for their self yeah they've not had to strive to uh, keep a roof over their head they've not had to strive to pay a medical bill or something like that and whilst that's good and i'm, I'm always like i say i'm a working class guy and I've, all, and I've always believed in the uh, welfare state and this sort of thing, I still think that in some times it's holding people back because they're so reliant and dependent on this that they, they think there ain't nothing else. I've gone off subject a little bit, but back to this believing in yourself. Believe in your own business. Don't let anyone shatter your dreams. Even if you're somebody who thinks a lot of you, if they say, oh, it's a waste of time, just let it go over your head. Just let it go over, go over your head, yeah. Perhaps, perhaps there was something in that person's life in the past that they could have done and they didn't do, and something held them back. Um, this video is coming to, is, is I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ending it sh uh, soon, but just one quick story about my dad. Now, my dad, if you knew my dad, my dad was a working class guy, a lot like me, family man, loved his family, and. Um, 
this story is about something that happened to him in his life, which he could have pursued, but my mum held him back. Um, I think I mentioned it in another video, but basically my my brother got married and he needed a place to live with his wife. And my dad had the idea of buying a second property with a, uh, it was a builder's merchants with a flat over the top. And he sat and worked it out that he could buy these builder's merchants and he was gonna let my brother rent it with his wife, obviously pay him like for the flat above. And my dad and, he, and my other brother, and we, basically between the lot of us, we were going to run this builder's merchants. And my mum talked him out of it. She said, oh, Charlie, or Charl, I don't think it's a lot of money, and I don't think this, and I don't think that. And my dad, he used to say to me, your mum, he used to call her mockers. Because any time he had an idea, she'd say to him, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. And he never did it. All right, no one knows. No one knows what would have happened if he'd have bought it. But one thing I do know, that uh, some other people bought that place, and that builder's merchants now is thriving. And the cost of that site has gone through the roof. So who knows? Do you know what I mean? Don't let anyone hold you back. You know, that's just a little story about something that happened in my life, my mum and dad. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes your partner can hold you back. Don't let your partner hold you back. Um, that ain't to say you've got to start going remortgaging your house and you know risk losing everything. You've got to look into these things. But if you've got a little idea, something that you know that you think ain't going to cost you loads of money and has got potential to get big, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah, because otherwise you'll be ten years down the line. You'll still be doing what you're doing now, and you'll still be wondering. I wonder whether that would have worked. Give it a go. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you need motivation, I do my best. If you need help with um, small businesses, if you need help with getting leads, lead generation, marketing, that's all what my channel's about. I do hope this video has been of help to you, and I hope to see you on another one of my videos. And if you have watched to the end, thank you so much. Bye.